And new tonight, take a look at this. A high school football player in Texas charges a referee and then takes him down on the field. This after the referee ejected him during a football game last night. Now that 18-year-old player is charged with assault. He posted bond and he has been released from jail. As a result of his actions, his team was kicked out of the playoffs. And tonight, players and parents are furious. Let us play. Let us play. Parents and players protesting outside the school today, saying it's unfair to be punished for their teammates' action. News Nation's Ashley Ketz joins us now with the fallout from last night's attack. Well, the player's father tells News Nation his son let his emotions get the best of him, and he is sorry, but now his team is facing the consequences of his actions. Watch what happened on a Texas high school football field Thursday night. Number 88 on the defense has been disqualified. Following a heated exchange, the referee ejects 18 year old Emmanuel Durone from the game. Then at the 40 yard line, Durone does this. You can see the Edinburgh High School senior defensive lineman rushing the field in full pads and slamming into the referee who made the call. Police escorted Durone off the field. According to jail records, Durone is now charged with assault. Edinburgh went on to win the game, advancing to the state playoffs, but Friday morning the school district released this statement. The district has decided to remove the Edinburgh High School football team from the playoffs after an unexpected incident involving a student that occurred during a football game on December 3rd. We extend a sincere apology to the referee and his family. On behalf of the Edinburgh CISD Board of Trustees and Administration, we apologize to the athletes, staff, and our school community. The Texas Association of Sports Officials is also investigating. It says, unfortunately, this type of blindsided assault on officials while working on the field is not new to Texas football. Jerome was named the district's defensive player of the year last season. He's also one of the top wrestlers in the state of Texas. News Nation reached out to Jerome's family and the referee who was assaulted. They declined to comment on camera about what happened. Players are protesting their removal from postseason play, saying they shouldn't be punished because of one individual on the team. It's going to be harsh for them, and I just, they just got to. Uh, keep their head, their head up and move forward and, uh, and learn from this, you know, for the future. Jerome was given a cash bond of $10,000 and has been released from jail. The University Interscholastic League applauds the district for taking action, but has not said what Jerome's punishment will be. We're told something similar happened in Texas five years ago. The player in that incident was suspended for some time.